Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The ongoing battle over pension reform has become a game of moving targets for educators hoping to mobilize this week as the legislative session comes to a close. It seems the only sure thing at this point is that many schools will likely see classes canceled this Friday as educators once again descend upon the state capitol. When the state legislature comes back into session Friday, they will likely be met with demonstrators just as they were nearly two weeks ago when thousands of educators and supporters packed onto the capitol grounds. And with that will likely come a work stoppage. Other school districts are already calling it. Uh, we called for this on Pike County Strong, our, the group, uh, called for this on a Sunday, and I know that teachers across the county started calling in for Friday on Sunday. Lee Collins, a co-organizer of the group Pike County Strong, said this week's developments in the pension battle have changed the game. But she said educators from Pike County are prepared to take the fight back to Frankfurt, and after that, to the polls. When all this dust is settled, whether it's, it's this week, Friday, Saturday, or next week, if special session's called, or June the 30th, or if we go into government shutdown if we don't have a budget, we will hit the ground running and hard campaigning for our fellow colleagues, educators across this state who are running for public office. Collins said educators only want what they have earned. So, you know, our pensions, we want our schools fully funded, and, uh, you know, we want to be treated with respect uh, from, our, from our leader. Friday's rally in Frankfurt is set to begin at 8 a.m., and events and demonstrations are also planned for Saturday as well. In Pike County, Chris Anderson, EKB News.